Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Yes, it has been a while since I filmed an actual full talk through tutorial and I do apologize. Um, I try to get videos to you guys as often as I can and I do appreciate the small amount of followers that I have because it's awesome and it makes me feel really good to have people interested and wanting to see um, more about me and my life and, and what I do. So kudos to all of you guys. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you guys are having a great start to new, to your new year, um, 2019. I, for one, have been off to a rocky start, um, mostly just because the holidays kind of came and went so fast for me this year, and I was going through a lot of personal things too, which I kind of touched on in my last full-length video, um, and then on top of that, if you can probably hear, like I've had sinus problems, I've been sick, I'm pretty sure I had like a flu bug at one point, all sorts of good stuff, been on like heavy-duty antibiotics just trying to like knock it out of my system so yeah it has been a whirlwind and I haven't been my like up and go energetic usual self the last like two weeks probably but I'm feeling better um my skin is definitely taking a toll you guys probably know from being on antibiotics it can definitely do that and I do um battle redness and sensitivity and then I have pores so there's just always something going on with my skin and I'm in my 30s so life happens right we have aging we have spots it's a part of life so anyway um I want to film a tutorial for you guys today and I don't want to take too much time up so I want to get into it um I received these little Too Faced primer samples with an order that I had gotten I don't even know how long ago um, <laughs> truthfully, they're still good to use, but, um, I have the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer, and then, of course, the Primed and Peachy, which is a cooling matte, um, primer. So I want to start with Hangover RX, because I feel like it is kind of like a hangover. I don't, um, personally drink anymore, but my skin feels like I've been drinking and partying and all this stuff, but, um, yeah. We're gonna put this on just for the actual cooling and hydration and boost that it gives your skin. And it's super lightweight. It has like a coconut water base to it. And I really love this, especially if you have combination skin and you want something that's light and not super thick. So this is a great product to start with. And then we're gonna spot prime as well. In that T-zone, we're going to put that cooling matte primer. So this is thicker. And it has a little bit of a different texture. The water-based um, primer is a lot more thin and kind of fluffy and comfortable. I, I don't even know. Thin and fluffy. That probably doesn't work. But it just has a lighter texture to it. This is a little bit thicker. And obviously, you can tell it's a mattifier. It almost feels like it has like a powder in it to help absorb. Um, so getting into foundation, I want to work with one of my all-time favorites, the Lancome Tiny Doll Ultra Wear. This is the um, liquid version. I do have it in a stick formula. Hi, boo-boo. Hi. Want to come say hi? Hi. Say hello, everybody. I Up there. Daddy. You know that? You're the best. <laughs> So anyway, in the summertime, I go sometimes all the way to a 320 Bisque W, and then I also have a 260 Bisque Neutral on hand. I'm hoping mixing the two will get me closer to a color that I am right now. Um, may have to mix something else in, but I don't have my exact shade on hand. Um, and these are $47, so it is quite a bit of money to put out, but I guarantee you, you'll love this foundation. Um, it's just a matter of getting the right shade, but now you don't have to worry because I think they're coming out with like upwards of 50 shades So kudos to Lancome for inclusiveness uh, But we're gonna mix these two on the back of my hand And I'm just gonna kind of apply it in the areas that I know I definitely need the most coverage Which is on my cheeks on my chin Especially in the areas that I'm really red 
And I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Um, Flawless Face Brush, which is a little bit softer, almost like, it's almost like a powdery finishing brush. It's still pretty dense, but it's much softer and looser than the other brushes that I have. And what I like about that is you can kind of get a lighter, softer coverage when you use something that's a little more fluffy as opposed to using a buffing brush or something that is extremely dense and tightly packed. That, but yeah, I wanted to work with a brush today just to start and I always finish with a beauty blender. But um, I was kind of inspired by a lot of like the glow and sheer kind of finish that we saw on the red carpet recently with the Golden Globes. And I love it. I really don't watch honestly for the awards because a lot of the times I think they choose the wrong people to win but I love to watch for the makeup and the dresses and the fashion and the hair I mean red carpets are my favorite for that because you just get so much inspiration some stuff is ridiculous but some stuff I love and um, I just saw a lot of like kind of glowing hydrated plumped skin now the next thing I like to do is always go in with some type of really soft fluffy sponge just to make sure that everything is nice and blended and just gonna kind of push this into the skin concealer I think I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty I've been really into the um, overachiever concealer and I use the color meringue which is more of like a neutral but I think it personally has a lot more yellow in it than neutral so I like the brightness of this though and I think it'll help I'm gonna take it a little bit more dramatic just to really brighten the face up here I don't know about you guys but when I'm under the weather, I definitely can see it on my face. So my eyes get puffy, they get dark. It's just not a good look for me. I'm gonna take a little tiny little mini Fix Plus here. This is the Fix Plus Lavender and I got a set of these in the Pretty Little Things holiday set. And just kinda hit that on my Beauty Blender. And I like to wear with the Beauty Blender for my concealer. I haven't found a sponge that I really love outside this beauty blender for concealer, but I do love this. Yeah, my anxiety has been so bad. You guys know if you follow my channel that I struggle a lot with anxiety and with panic attacks. And I don't know if it's just, you know, being under the weather or all the stress from the holidays. I mean, I'm sure most of us are kind of like feeling the weight of the holidays financially and all these other things. And, you know, life just sometimes gets the best of you. And um, when you have, you know, an anxiety disorder, you don't, you just take it day by day ultimately because some days are going to be so great and you're just going to forge through and feel really good and then you just have these little setbacks that happen and for me I call them my flare-ups where everything's good and then you just boom you have a moment you know and, and it's hard because people that do have uh, mental health you know like anxiety depression we do tend to kind of take things a little bit differently than others and we do tend to kind of get stuck in our heads sometimes um, and it's not a bad thing it's just you know we have to remind ourselves to think a little bit harder about the good things that are going on and just to kind of break it down and get out of our head and live more present and in the moment so before we start to set the under eye, I'm actually going to go in with my um, Soleil Tan de Chanel. I love this. This is a great product to just warm up your face and your complexion. I feel like this product just really ties in the concealer and the foundation and just brings it all together. So you have this nice shadow of warmth on your face. 
And I'm running this right into the crease of my eye as well, just to give me this natural kind of glowing complexion, guys. I love this stuff. And then I'm just gonna go in now and smooth out my concealer again, because we're gonna start to set it. To set today, I'm gonna use my original um, Translucent RCMA No Color Powder. I love this stuff. It's like glowing everywhere here. Um, and I'm gonna use a Morphe sponge. And I'm just gonna put a little fix on this real quick. I do like to have a damp sponge when I go in and set. And now we're gonna use this flat edge here on the sponge and just come in and start setting and baking. One thing that has not gone out of my routine in 2019 is baking, just because I know a lot of artists are against the whole contour and baking, but I personally love it. And I think when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, you have to do what works for you. For me, when I bake, it gives my face shape and definition. And it really helps my concealer to stay put. I know some people just like to work with a little bit of a brush and just work some translucent powder, finishing powder. I mean, t like I said, different strokes, different folks. Everybody likes something different. You guys are gonna laugh because if you know me, this is not my favorite palette, but I picked up the Anastasia Norbina palette. And the reason is because there's a few little pastel-y shades in here. And then I also came across my Juvia's Place Deuce palette, which has, you know, a few little pastelies in here. And I was kind of feeling pastel, which I know is crazy because it's not spring yet, even though it feels like it here in the South. And maybe that's kind of where I was going with this because it feels so much like spring right now. Um, but yeah, I was just kind of like, I gotta I gotta play around with something. And I was seeing on the red carpet kind of like peachiness and warmth and almost like a peach smoky eye and a bronze smoky eye and pink smoky eyes and I was kind of like how could I achieve something like that and have a little bit of like a glitter on there as well so I was thinking of lighter tone palettes and I really liked um, the Juvia's one and then I thought well let me mess around with Anastasia's Norvina and see what I can come up with so we're gonna work with that and just give it a whirl if it works, it works. If it doesn't, you know, what are we gonna do? Um, I'm gonna set my eyelid and prime it with Soft Okra Paint Pot from MAC to get us going here. And I'm just gonna wing this and do this on a Morphe G38, which is a little bit big, but I don't want, you know, a thick layer of primer, but I do want to prime. Um, all right, so what I want to do is actually take a more densely packed eyeshadow brush and this is from the BH Cosmetics Pink Marble Collection, the number eight brush. And it's basically like a flat shadow brush, but a little bit more bigger and dense. And I kind of want to go into something a little bit um, pinky today, even though my hair is red. I don't know how I feel about this, but Valentine's is coming. Pink and red works. We'll make it work. I'm going to go into the Deuce palette and grab crepes. And that is just kind of like a deep rose muted color. It's, it's a matte tone. It's a very deep color. And I want to take a little bit of this and a little bit of love from the Anastasia palette. Mix those two together. And it's gonna make a very dusty kind of rose muted pink color. And I wanna start just by pressing this onto the lower lash line. And the reason I am pressing is so that this way we get a lot of color payoff. And we're gonna go in with a um, fluffier brush and work this color outward and upward into the crease and it's okay if you're a little sloppy with it because like I said you're gonna go in with a brush anyway I'm gonna go in with a pink marble number six now and we're gonna start working from the lid space now and bringing this color up into the crease with this brush 
and this is a softer more fluffy brush but it's gonna help us just kind of smoke this eyelid out a little bit and take a step back see where you're at if you feel like you need more color go back into that flat brush and start working this in you can even bring it up into the crease if you have to you can flip your brush up this way and then go back again into that fluffy brush and just start working it because this is ultimately blending it so that you don't have any harsh lines and it's just going to soften the color and work it up into your crease I'm actually gonna switch now to a fluffy brush. This is also by BH Cosmetics. And in the Deuce palette, I'm gonna go into Creme, which is more of like your true baby pink. And I'm gonna take that now and just kind of really tap that color into the bristles and work this now into the crease just to kind of soften that rose mauve color. go back into crepes now and start working on the lower lash line using that same brush because it is a flat brush we can work it along the lower lash line and kind of outline and I'm actually gonna wing it up as well so that this way it looks like we have almost like an eyeliner on and it just gives a really different kind of smoky look. You know, a lot of people think of smoky eyes. They want, you know, browns and blacks and silvers and golds. And this is just a fun kind of almost daytime look that you can do. And I saw, like I said, a lot of this type of vibe on the red carpet and just really soft and romantic. And I love that. All right. I do want to add a little bit of depth to this look. So I think, let's see. I'm gonna go back into another pink marble brush. This is the number seven. And back in Norvina's palette, she has Eccentric, which is a really fun kind of like almost cream soda color. And I wanna take this along the lower lash line just to add some dimension and some depth. And it's gonna to help to really kind of buff out our lower lash line here. And I'm also going to go back into the number eight brush and grab in that same palette a little bit of passion and just kind of work that into the bristles mixed with a little bit of crepe. And we're going to kind of run this along the lash line first just to add a little bit of depth here and then slowly kind of pat it up towards the crease without adding any more color. We just kind of want to keep the majority of the color along the lash line and then just blend it up and out towards the crease just to add a little bit more depth. Now going into the Norvina palette, I'm gonna grab a little bit of um, Wild Child, which is really just a soft, frosty baby pink. And I wanna press this on top of the center of my lid here just to add a pop of sparkle. And I'm also gonna take a little bit of Dreamer from the Norvina palette and add that in as well on top of Wild Child just to add a little bit more glow. Okay guys, so we pretty much have the basics now of what the eye is gonna be. I wanna start dusting a little bit of fallout off here since I did get a little bit of fallout because you know that Norvina palette, you guys. <laughs> I love it, but it's got some fallout. Before we go on to contour, I wanna do a little bit of eyeliner. And um, my favorite liquid liner of the moment is the Master Precise All Day from Maybelline. And I have three different kinds here. The one I wanna work with today is actually Forest Brown because it's not quite as harsh as a black liquid liner, but it's still gonna give us that flicked kind of feline look. And I feel like something like this, you could definitely throw on a pair of lashes and call it a day. Or if you're not gonna wear lashes, maybe go in with a liquid line that's softer than a black and um, pop on some really good mascara and go. So that's my plan and we are going to attempt to do this on camera because it's so hard to do eyeliner and get it on camera but still look in the mirror. So my trick is I like to kind of follow the shape 
of my lower lash line to do a flick. Now, some people come in and pull out. I personally do not like that. So I come in right from the side and then I start to draw the shape of what I want and then go in and kind of fill in. And then I keep it, I try to keep it as tight and tapered in the inside corner as I can. Doesn't always work because a lot of times I start out simple and then I become Amy Winehouse. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera as well as my eyebrows and then we'll come back to finish our contour and our lips. Okay guys, so our liner is set and eyebrows are done. For brows today, I used one of my favorite brow products, which is IT Cosmetics Brow Power Universal. And um, I wanna go into contour. So even though we've placed the warmth in the skin, I still need something cool to define and sharpen the edges. So I'm gonna be using a mixture of this Morphe 9C palette with the Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Palette. I love these two. Um, as you can see, <laughs> I have hit pan on quite a bit here. I'm starting to like really hit pan on these lighter shades, but there are a few of these deeper shades and I particularly like this middle one here cause it's a really cool shade and I'm pretty sure they don't make this palette anymore. This was an old contour palette and I really hope if Morphe is listening, watching, or this gets back to them that they will bring this back cause this is definitely one of my favorite contour palettes, but I'm going to be working with this kind of central color here for a little bit of depth as well as um, the step-by-step -step contour palette for from Smashbox, I kind of mix this cool tone with this little bit of warmth. And those three colors tend to really give me a nice contour shade. And I'm working with a Morphe M530 because this is one of my favorite contour brushes. But I'm just going to come in from right here, kind of in that indentation. And I don't wanna take it too much farther than the corner of my eye just because the bronzer will swipe across and blend out with but this is really just to add a little bit of depth and definition in the corner here so that when you turn your face and even looking straight on you just have a little bit of definition and sculpt and we're going to do the same now on our jawline just coming in right underneath the jawline and creating shadow, starting kind of like in the corner here, working the product back towards the ear and down underneath the jaw. Okay, so now that contour is done, I want to kind of buff that out a little bit and soften it and also continue to add some more warmth. And I'm gonna use a powder bronzer now by Physicians Formula. This is just their butter bronzer. And I'm working this into my Lancome, or excuse me, my Laura Mercier finishing brush. And again, just kind of working this in the same area as we put that Chanel bronze, just kind of high upon the cheeks here into the temples. Anyway, with that being said, um, most of our bake is gone at this point, so everything's nice and cleaned up here, but I do wanna add a little bit of brightness, so going back into that Morphe 9C, I'm gonna take this like kind of peachy pink color and a pop of that yellow, work this into um, BH Marble number three brush, and I'm just going to place this onto the cheekbone and underneath the eye to highlight and brighten without using an actual highlighter. And then, of course, if we're going to contour and all of that, we're gonna need a little bit of blush just to add some pinkiness and peachy and youth into this look. So I'm actually gonna take a mixture of this nude Maybelline Fit Me blush and Milani's Coral Cove and give it kind of a custom corally nude pink. So I'm gonna take those also on a BH Marble brush. This is the number two and kind of work those two together onto my hands here. And then at the fullest part of the cheek, I'm gonna start placing this working up towards the hairline. Just bring everything up and rock a little bit here in the temple. 
And anytime you feel like maybe you've done a little too much, you can always dial it back down using your powder brush and just working it kind of into the color, making sure everything is nice and soft and blended. One of the last steps I wanna do is my mascara, and um, one mascara that I really like, actually that I picked up, is Maybelline's Snap Mascara. It's um, supposed to be very lightweight and not have any harsh waxes or anything that can weigh the lashes down or make them feel stiff. It's supposed to literally just, just be something that you can coat and pigment your lashes and pop it off, you know, in and out, no big deal. It does wash off very smoothly. However, I still get a little bit of crunch with it. Um, I don't know if it's because I layer and I put on like two, three coats, but I do like it and I like the definition that I get. So let's do that. I am going to curl using my tweezerman. So now we want to do lips and to line my lips, I'm going to use Subculture from MAC Cosmetics, one of my favorite just everyday kind of nude lip colors. I want to keep it really soft. I saw a lot of really soft nude lips on the red carpet. Also some really bold ones as well, but with this kind of a look, it's kind of like a sweetheart romantic look. So I want to do something kind of pinky nude. And in sticking with a super long wear, mattified pink look, we're gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Loyalist. I absolutely love this liquid lipstick. Okay, so now that we have lips all set and done, we just need to set and reset. So I'm gonna use my MAC Fix Plus Lavender. Okay guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I just read actually that the Pantone color of the year is like a peachy pink maybe or a warm peach. So we're not too far off with this kind of dusty, rosy, pink, smoky eyed look. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, this talk through. If you guys like more of this, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Of course, a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Um, I would really truly appreciate that. But just to recap, we have our Lancome Tawny Dole um, Ultra Wear. I love the feel of this. I love the look of it. And I love that it's great for all different ages and all different skin types and tones um, because it's truly a very inclusive brand. And I really appreciate that as an artist and also as somebody that's a consumer. Um, so yeah. And then of course we did the Juvia's Place and a little bit of Norvina my I'm not sure how I feel about it palette but yeah I love how it turned out and I hope you guys did too and until next time I'll see you guys really soon